everyone has a sense of purpose. One of my favorite stories is when JFK went to go visit the NASA Space Center and he saw a janitor holding a broom and he asked him what he was doing and the janitor replied, Mr. President, I'm helping put a man on the moon. Purpose is that feeling that you are a part of something bigger than yourself, that you are needed, and that you have something better ahead to work for. Purpose is what creates true happiness. As I've traveled around, I've sat with children in juvenile detention and opioid addicts who've told me that maybe their lives would have turned out differently if they just had something to do, an after school program or somewhere to go. I've met factory workers who know their old jobs aren't coming back and are just trying to find their path ahead. For our society to keep moving forward, we have a generational challenge to not only create new jobs, but create a renewed sense of purpose. I remember that night I launched Facebook from that little dorm in Kirkland House. I went to Noakes with my friend KX, and I remember telling him clearly that I was excited to help connect the Harvard community, but one day someone would connect the whole world. The thing is, it never even occurred to me that that someone might be us. We were just college kids. We didn't know anything about that. There were all these great big technology companies with all these resources, and I just assumed one of them would do it. But this idea was so clear to us that all people want to connect. So we just kept working on it, day after day after day. And I know that a lot of you are gonna have your own stories just like this. A change in the world that seems so clear that you are sure someone else is going to do it. But they're not. You will. You see, my hope was never to build a company. I wanted to have an impact. And as all these people started joining us, I just assumed that that's what they wanted to do too, so I never took the time to explain what it was that I hoped we'd build. A couple years in, some big companies wanted to buy us. I didn't want to sell. I wanted to see if we could connect more people. And we were building the first version of Newsfeed at the time, and I thought, if we could just launch this, it could change how we all learn about the world. Nearly everyone else wanted to sell. Without a sense of higher purpose, this was their startup dream come true, and it tore our company apart. After one particularly tense argument, one of my close advisors told me if I didn't agree to sell the company right now, I would regret that decision for the rest of my life. Relationships were so frayed that within a year or so, every single person on our management team was gone. That was my hardest time leading Facebook. I believed in what we were doing, but I felt alone. And worse, it was my fault. I wondered if I was just wrong, an imposter, a, a 22-year-old kid who had no idea how things actually worked. I want to talk about three ways that we can create a world where everyone has a sense of purpose by taking on big, meaningful projects together, by redefining equality so everyone has the freedom to pursue their purpose, and by building community all across the world. So first, let's take on big, meaningful projects. Our generation is gonna have to deal with tens of millions of jobs replaced by automation like self-driving cars and trucks. But we have the potential to do so much more than that. Every generation has its defining works. More than 300,000 people worked to put that man on the moon, including that janitor. Millions of volunteers immunized children around the world against polio, and millions of more people built the Hoover Dam and other great projects. And now it's our generation's turn to do great things. I don't know how to get a million people involved in anything. Well, let me tell you a secret. No one does when they begin. Ideas don't come out fully formed. They only become clear as you work on them. You just have to get started. If I had to know everything about connecting people before I got started, I never would have built Facebook. 
movies and pop culture just get this all wrong. The idea of a single eureka moment is a dangerous lie. It makes us feel inadequate because we feel like we haven't had ours yet. And it prevents people with seeds of good ideas from ever getting started in the first place. It's really good to be idealistic, but be prepared to be misunderstood. Anyone working on a big vision is gonna get called crazy, even if you end up right. Anyone taking on a complex problem is gonna get blamed for not fully understanding it, even though it's impossible to know everything up front. Anyone taking initiative will always get criticized for moving too fast because there's always someone who wants to slow you down. In our society, we often don't take on big things because we're so afraid of making mistakes that we ignore all the things wrong today if we do nothing. The second is redefining our idea of equality so everyone has the freedom to pursue their purpose. An entrepreneurial culture thrives when it is easy to try lots of new ideas. Facebook wasn't the first thing I built. I also built chat systems and games, study tools and music players, and I'm not alone. J.K. Rowling got rejected 12 times before she finally wrote and published Harry Potter. The greatest successes come from having the freedom to fail. Look, I know a lot of entrepreneurs. And I don't know a single person who gave up on starting a business because they were worried they might not make enough money. But I know too many people who haven't had the chance to pursue their dreams because they didn't have a cushion to fall back on if they failed. But it's not just about giving money. You can also give time. And I promise you, if you just take an hour or two a week, that's all it takes to give someone a hand and help them reach their potential an after-school program at the local Boys and Girls Club on entrepreneurship. I taught those kids lessons on product development and marketing, and they taught me what it was like growing up feeling targeted for your race, and what it's like having a family member in prison. I shared stories of my time in school, and they shared their hope that one day they would get to go to college too. We can all make time to give someone a hand. Let's give everyone the freedom to pursue purpose, not just because it's the right thing to do, but because when more people can turn their dreams into something great, we are all better for it. The third way we can create a sense of purpose for everyone is by building community. We understand that the great arc of human history bends towards people coming together in ever greater numbers from tribes to cities to nations to achieve things that we could not on our own. We get that our greatest opportunities are now global. We can be the generation that ends poverty, that ends disease. A student in a dorm connecting one community at a time and keeping at it until one day we can connect the whole world. Change starts local. Even global change starts small with people like us. In our generation, the struggle of whether we connect more, whether we achieve our greatest opportunities, comes down to this. Your ability to build communities and create a world where every single person has a sense of purpose. One day after class, I was talking to my students about going to college and one of my top students raised his hand and said that he wasn't sure he could go to college because he's undocumented. He wasn't sure if they'd take him. Last year, I took him out to breakfast for his birthday and I wanted to get him a gift, so I asked him what he wanted and he just started talking about struggles that he saw other students in his class facing and finally said, you know, I'd really just like a book on social justice. I was blown away. Here is a young guy who has every reason to be cynical. He wasn't sure if the country he calls home, the only one he's known, was going to deny him his dream of going to college. 
But he wasn't feeling sorry for himself. He wasn't even thinking of himself. He has a greater sense of purpose, and he's going to bring people along with him. It says something about our situation today that I can't even say his name because I don't want to put him at risk. But if a high school senior who doesn't know what the future holds for him can do his part to move the world forward, then we owe it to the world to do our part too. May the source of strength, who's blessed the ones before us, help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. I hope you find the courage to make your life a blessing.